Welcome back, folks. Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss. A breakthrough treatment for herpes that has been making waves in the medical community. In this video, we'll be diving into the world of SADBE and its potential in the fight against herpes. So, let's get started. SADB stands for Squaric Acid Dibutyl Ester, and it's a synthetic compound that has shown promising results in the treatment of herpes. It belongs to a group of chemicals called sensitizers, commonly used in dermatology for various skin conditions. But recent research suggests that SADBE might hold the key to effectively managing herpes outbreaks. But before we delve deeper, let's quickly recap what herpes is. Herpes is a common viral infection caused by the herpes simplex virus, HSV. There are two types of HSV. HSV1, which primarily causes oral herpes, and HSV2, responsible for genital herpes. Both types can cause painful sores and blisters, and the virus remains in the body even after the symptoms subside, leading to recurrent outbreaks. Now, you might be wondering how SADBE works against herpes. Well, it's all about stimulating the body's immune response. When applied topically, SADBE activates the immune system, specifically the T-cells, which play a crucial role in fighting viral infections. T-cells, also known as lymphocytes, recognize and attack foreign invaders, such as viruses. By applying SADBE to the skin, it triggers a localized immune response, prompting the T-cells to target the herpes virus and reduce the severity and duration of outbreaks. The effectiveness of SADBE in herpes treatment has been demonstrated in several research studies and clinical trials. In one particular study published in a renowned medical journal, participants with recurrent genital herpes experienced significant reductions in both the frequency and duration of outbreaks after using SADBE. The results we've seen with SADBE have been quite promising. Not only does it help in managing herpes outbreaks, but it also has the potential to reduce viral shedding, which is a major factor in the transmission of herpes to others. Now, let's talk about the potential benefits and considerations when using SADBE for herpes. SADB has shown promising results in reducing the frequency and severity of outbreaks, potentially improving the quality of life for individuals living with herpes. However, it's important to note that SADBE is not a cure for herpes. It serves as a treatment option to manage outbreaks, but the virus remains in the body. As with any medical intervention, it's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional before starting SADBE treatment. Anecdotal evidence from those who have successfully used SADBE advise a 2-3% concentration of SADBE applied to the inner arm every three months. This causes a rash to appear at the site on the arm and triggers the immune system to generate the T-cell response which then attacks herpes. Though it does not remove HSV from the body, SADBE can over time make a person asymptomatic. Like some of those who have really strong immune systems to begin with. It is said to be effective in the treatment of both HSV1 and 2, oral and genital. A word of caution about the dosage. Do not exceed the 3% maximum advised concentration as SADBE can cause severe reactions at higher concentrations. So there we have it, SADBE represents a new avenue in the fight against herpes. Its ability to stimulate the immune response and reduce outbreak frequency offers hope to those dealing with this challenging condition. While more research is needed to fully understand its long-term effects, the early results are promising. If you found this information helpful or have any questions, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.